John, Jonathan Lemire, uh, we, we saw uh, last night a joint statement uh, from France, Germany, Italy, and the United Kingdom, and the United States uh, making a joint statement in solidarity of, of the Israeli people. Uh, and it was, it was um, for, those, for those five countries, it was a pretty remarkable statement of support and a strong condemnation against the terrorist attacks. Uh, I think we're seeing some unity from Europe that we don't always see. And of course, in the face of these heinous terror attacks, you would certainly hope, uh, hope to see that. I'm curious, though, uh, how, how much forward do we expect President Biden to lean today? How aggressively today do we expect to hear President Biden uh, speak out against uh, the terror attacks and, and, and talk about his support for Israel? extraordinarily aggressive is the sense of it. He will be a full throated defense of Israel and its right to defend itself. Now, let's remember, President Biden and Prime Minister Netanyahu have a pretty complicated personal relationship. Uh, the two men have known each other a long time. Uh, there have been ups and downs. Uh, we know that the president condemned Netanyahu's recent push to reshape uh, the judiciary there uh, in Israel. But all of that will be set aside right now. In the short term, U.S. officials tell me the United States understands Israel is going to respond and they're going to respond with overwhelming force. Now, what comes next is an open matter. We, depending how long this conflict lasts, depending what Israel's further steps would be, that might be when we have some more nuance, when we have some more complications emerge, when the U.S. tries to get them to tap the brakes. But that is that is for down the road. That is not going to be the message from today. And in the president's phone call with Prime Minister Netanyahu over the weekend, when Netanyahu did suggest that they would be going into Gaza with a ground support, I'm told the president didn't push back in that. And, and, and Jeremy, if I could just bring you in on that.